if you look at your old water pump, you have a plug on the side here. That on some models there might be a sensor there, but this particular one does not have one. On the on the top, and you notice your water inlets here, and your sensor, the, the the temperature sensor goes here. We'll install those once the water pump is on the truck. But we should put this plug in now. Use a little bit of Teflon tape. Just tighten her down in there just a little bit, just to make sure she's. Just get her snug, and then we'll give her one last little more turn once she's once she's installed, and it's easy to hang on to. Now we're ready to install the water pump. Now, I want to take the three long bolts that come with it. For whatever reason, the uh, aftermarket people have specified that these bolts must be installed for the warranty to be in action. Now these are the bolts that came off of the water pump. Notice that there are the, the three long ones that are supposed to be replaced. I don't know if for whatever reason they snap when they're, or they get stretched when they're installed at the factory and, the, and they will snap and break off inside the engine. Um, that would be a real, real difficult thing to cope with, especially since it's an aluminum housing in there that these screw into. And then there's one medium length one. So we want to take the three out that we're not going to install and we want to install the three that came with the water pump. We'll make sure that the surface that it's going to mount, that the that the water pump mounts to here, is clean. I'm going to go through and, and wipe off the residue. Most times there's just a little bit of, you know, like rubber sealer or something there that may be still stuck to it. If this is the second water pump you've done, uh, this is original factory one. But if this has been done before, then you're going to have a little bit of sealer left on there from when you uh, when you set the gasket. Uh, so that it wouldn't, the gasket wouldn't slide. So you got to get that off. It's got to be nice, clean surface so that the the rubber seal, the little O-ring type seal, can go on there. So once we have that, once we have that cleaned up, then we want to take the pump and actually set it on there. Take one of the top bolts that goes into the top here, one like this one here, and have it in there. Slide the thing down in. Make sure you don't have any, any of the wires or anything like that underneath, the, in between the pump and the housing. And then just slide it up in there and install the, you know, thread, thread the first bolt in. And once you get the first one, the rest of it's pretty much, pretty much easy. You want to go through and put a second one in to stabilize it. Put a little pressure on it against the housing so that it, it holds the seal in. And then now you can turn loose of it and install all the rest of the bolts. The three long ones go into their respective spots. And you don't want to, when you go back to tighten these all down, you don't want to tighten them up tight, tight on the first round. You want to set them in there and snug them. You always want to snug on the first round, you want to snug them. And then go back and give them one last turn or half a turn to take them the rest of the distance. Got all, you want to put all the bolts in and initially start threading them. Okay, it's important in most assembly and disassembly projects like this. You want to have the you want to have the bolts started to be threaded in all of them before you tighten any of them because what will happen is is that the the um, the the pump will shift or the part that that you're trying to install will shift a little bit and that one last bolt won't go in and you're going to have to go back and unloosen everything that you just tightened up and get the one back in and then tighten everything. So, have all your bolts finger just finger started, you know, so that it's caught the first couple threads and then we go through and go around the circle and we just snug it. Notice I'm not tightening them yet. Just snug them down, get them so that it Get them so that it's not, not, not all tightened down. Take your time. You always want to be looking at what you're doing. Make sure there's no wires or anything caught behind there. Now, 
this isn't one of those things that requires you to go back with a torque gauge and, and do it. Just as long as, it's, as long as it's tight enough, it's about as tight as a, as a 3 8 air ratchet can tighten it, that's usually more than enough. Because it's a rubber seal inside there and you don't want to, it's a machine fit basically. So once it's tight, it's tight. These are the old bolts and these are the new bolts supplied with it. The pulley is you know, holding the belt and whatnot, then it can shred the, the belt and, you know, and hang you up by the side of the road. So it's important, I guess, that if it comes with a kit, they feel that it needs to be installed to install new bolts in the pulley. Before you set the pulley on there, set the, set the, uh, the uh, front part of the water pump, the shaft here, point the bolt straight up. That way, when you go to try to line up the, the, uh, the, the bolt into the water pump, for the pulley, you know right where it is. It's straight up and down. You know, you can sit there and fart around and fish around for it for 10 minutes, but it's a whole lot easier just to set it straight up and down.